everyone, it is a picture perfect day here in Brighton East and I have a very special home tour for you because this one you can actually win. Yes, it is the latest grand prize in the Royal Melbourne Hospital Home Lottery. This contemporary Bayside home boasts a very chic interior. There's a lot to see, let's check it out. Front section of the home is actually dedicated to the master bedroom and ensuite. There's clever integration here with the use of the mirrors. So this is not only oversized, but it also continues down to the floor. And that same treatment can be seen from that entry point as well. So a nice bit of trickery, whenever you enhance mirrors and the scale of them, it helps to enhance the actual feeling and scale of the room itself. Now, when it comes to the interiors of this home, you're gonna notice that it's quite a neutral base and it's been layered on top with these colorful accents. You can see a rusty, rich, rosy tone in this room, which is replicated in some of the artwork and also the bed linen. I adore this bed. Like this has a very collapse on me right now vibe going on with it. We walk through very generous walk through robe into a very special ensuite. I love the feeling in here. The same idea with the mirrors has continued here. So that has wrapped all the way up to the ceiling height. So really elevating the space in here. And it just is all about the natural stone though. That is on this vanity and wrapping up the walls. It's got a beautiful dark contrast within that grain and vein running through it. Helps to set the tone. It feels soft and warm and natural in here, obviously epic size bath and I'm facing onto two very generous walk-in toilet and shower. So there is a slope to this site so we do step down and that slope actually means that it can dedicate space to a sunken lounge. I am a bit of a sucker when it comes to sunken lounges. They're a hard one to pull off because you do need a lot of space to dedicate to them, but they've done this incredibly well. I like the way it breaks out. Two things though that really make this room for me, one is the colour on the walls that really envelops you and also this phenomenal couch. I love the way this sofa wraps around. It is very cosy in here. bit of epicness in the kitchen there's a lot to take in first of all the marble on this island bench and the sheer scale of this bench as well so this is 4.2 by 1.2 meters so this is huge it's very practical and functional there are these heavy fluted curves underneath there which is also being replicated here I love this treatment of the range hood, the way these finger tiles curve around it. It feels very soft. It's also quite seamless in terms of the way they've treated their appliances. So this is an inset induction cooktop, very flush. And that is also replicated here with these dual ovens. So this is smoked American oak, all very flush, dual ovens here, integrated fridge and freezer. It's just seamless, it feels good. So it's already quite generous in terms of the ceiling height. So this is three meters, but then we open up even further here to this center pitch. So we're dealing with about five and a half meters. It's very lofty. It creates a very light and bright sensibility. We've got our living and our dining. 
I think for me, the key moments in this room, definitely this double arch pendant over the dining table and also that fireplace would make a beautiful spot to sit and enjoy on a winter's day. But it's certainly not winter right now, so I'm gonna open this up. So we can get a closer look outside. So this is our alfresco dining, very Mediterranean. I must admit, I like match. <laughs> I fit the vibe of this home very nicely. We wander through into the pool. I really like that detail of the herringbone tile. The exterior just feels very classic, very neutral, lots of bright whites, that softened pop of subtle timber, and then obviously surrounded by lush greenery and that wraparound pool. So the kitchen does continue. We do have a lot more work area here. There is ample storage and you've got more prep space, plus this nice pocket of that windowed splashback. This then transitions into a laundry, epic size. They've made a good use of natural light through that oversized window. Way more storage through there as well. but we've double backed around to the front now. So we have a double garage through here, as well as a powder room on the ground floor, which has that same rich natural stone that we saw in the master. Time to go up. We transition from that oak timber floor into this carpet. And then we do celebrate a very multi-purpose space. So we've got a workstation as well as an entertainment space. And I really like the fact that these units are actually floating. It helps to make this feel very open and spacious. All of the bedrooms are a great size and they actually boast their own color theme. So this one features a teal, sensibility, because you can see in the artwork, the lighting and the bed linen, and very generous and very beautiful ensuite. This room welcomes more of a warm, earthy mustard tone. I really like the way those lighting and pendants change throughout. And lucky last, we've gone slate in this room. This has a slightly larger floor plan in terms of you do have your own workstation and it does have a great aspect out to the front. But again, great ensuite, all of them very, very generous in scale. set on a 715 square meter block and it was built by Matsay Homes. Matsay actually teamed up with Webster Architecture and Nathan Burkett Landscape Architecture for the design and those three have worked together before and they always are a strong pairing and they really do help to create a unique sense of energy for each home they create. This home really plays with scale and shape. It very much shifts the experience as you walk throughout the home, taking advantage of natural light. And the introduction of curves is really consistent throughout this home, not just within the interior design, but also in the furniture choices as well. 
Curves really help to soften and quieten interiors, and they also really help to break up heavy mass elements. And a great example of this is actually that kitchen island behind me that is such a heavy mass, but the way they've integrated those curves and the way that they've opened it up, it really just helps to soften and lighten what is quite a large dominant object. There is a cozy feeling to this home and it's only really once you get to the back section, which is where I am now within the kitchen and the living, that it really opens up and it's celebrated with the height of those lofty ceilings, that center pitch. That's when it becomes slightly more elevated in terms of its scale and the design of furniture, the artwork and the decor just continue to elevate the space. In terms of the interior style, it is quite a neutral base. In fact, most of the surfaces, aside from that sunken lounge with that pop of colour, most of the surfaces are really soft, natural white, and it's more about the layering on top. So it's very classic and chic in terms of the styling, but pockets of colour and pattern have come into play with some of the lighting choices through the artwork, also through the window furnishings as well. Texture on the walls in the hallway and also that natural stone. There's just subtle elements of texture throughout. It's not over the top at all, which is ultimately incredibly calming. So the finishes of this home really are quite special. And if you win this home, you also win everything inside it. So this chair, yours. That artwork, yours. That San Pellegrino on the coffee table, I'm pretty sure that's yours. For your chance to win, all you have to do is buy a ticket in the Royal Melbourne Hospital Home Lottery. All ticket sales go towards supporting one of Australia's best hospitals. There are lots of prizes up for grabs, 8.2 million to be exact. And this grand prize is actually valued at $5 million and also includes $100,000 in gold. The earlier you purchase your tickets, the more chance you have to win. So if you like the idea of moving into this home mortgage free and you want to support a great cause, hit the link below and good luck. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. As always, let me know what you thought in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more home tours coming your way.